أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم The next question is wudu compulsory before touching the Quran? Many Muslims consider that wudu is compulsory before touching the Quran or before reading the Quran and this is the view of majority of the Muslims, but the scholars are divided whether it's fard or not. There's a verse in the Quran in Surah Waqiyah, chapter 56, verse number 77 to 80, where it says that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has revealed the Quran in a tablet well preserved. And none shall touch it except those are pure. So based on this verse of the Quran, many of the Muslims think it is fard that wudu should be there before touching the Quran. But if you read the Nuzul Quran, and if you read the comment of Ibn Qasir, he says that this verse was revealed when people alleged that Prophet Muhammad he got the revelation from the Satan. So this verse actually says that none shall touch the Quran. It's talking about the Quran in Lohim Hafuz. It's not talking about the Musaf of the Quran. This copy of the Quran, anyone can purchase it for $4, $5, 100 rupees, 150 rupees, easily and touch it. What is talking about? That none shall be able to touch that Quran in Lohi Mehfuz, except those of Mutahareen. So the Kitab al Maknoon is the book, the Lohi Mehfuz. And Mutahareen doesn't only mean bodily cleanliness, possibly Shumni Vudu. It means a person who's not only clean in body, but even in mind and soul. A person who's sinless, referring to the angels, that the Satanists cannot come close to the Quran, they cannot touch it. It is only the angels who can do it. So this verse doesn't refer to the Musaf of the Quran. So if you know the Nuzul Quran, when it was revealed. So most of the scholars say that, based on this, the scholars who know the Nuzul Quran, they say that therefore wudu, from this verse you can't conclude that wudu is fard. But most of the scholars agree it is mustahab. It's encouraged. It's preferable that a person should be in wudu when he reads or touches the Quran. Thank you, Doctor.